Do you carry a tourniquet with your EDC? If you do, I'm here to tell you that not all tourniquets are made equally. Some will save your life if you're bleeding to death. Some will definitely get you killed quicker. Stay tuned, you need to know this. Okay, so if you was in a situation where, let's say, like this building here collapsed and you needed to use a tourniquet for emergency use, would you have the right tourniquet? Would you know what the right tourniquet is? Let's look at some examples of what you should carry. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that this is something that I hotly debate and I also talk about this a lot. I also give you different ways of using tourniquets. So check out those videos after this video if you haven't seen them because you'll definitely like those as well. So here I've got two types of tourniquets. I always carry a flat elasticated band on me because that's the best thing I've found and it's got multiple uses. Something like this, this is like mimicking a SWAT T tourniquet really. Um, great tourniquet, multiple purposes. This is a cat style tourniquet. Most people are familiar with this because it's used by the military. This is a knockoff, it's just got a plastic um, windlass, but I use these all the time for training and they still work. I'm not saying that you should necessarily go with a cheaper brand. Do your own research. I'm not giving you advice on which tourniquet to buy. I'm giving you advice on which one to avoid at all costs. Cat style tourniquet, also a good choice for most people. Not my preferred choice, but I have. If you want to know more about cat style tourniquets, check my video out where I'll show you seven additional uses. You'll definitely like that one. Okay, so tourniquets that will get you killed. I want to talk about IV tourniquets and these knockoff rats style tourniquets. Okay, the rats style tourniquet will definitely save your life. It was developed by a US Special Forces guy, I believe. Um, anyway, this is a knockoff. This was made in the Philippines. I got it years ago. This will just about, it won't stop the bleeding. You're supposed to kind of like wrap it around itself. Um, it's a unique design. You're supposed to wrap it around itself like so. And just keep pulling it back on itself. And I mean, it might get super tight, but I don't think that this one would save your life. It's not like the genuine item. So, I've still got a very faint pulse in my wrist. It failed, okay? This could make it worse because this means that the blood flow can still get through to the injured site, but the, the blood flow can't get back, okay? That's bad, that means that you're gonna bleed to death quicker and you're also gonna have risks like compartment syndrome and things like that. So avoid these types of tourniquets. Buy the, if you want a rat style tourniquet, which is a specific brand, buy the legit thing if that's your preferred choice. Now, I wanna talk about this one because this one is super controversial. I, I have heard professional EMTs in training say, oh yeah, we've got tourniquets on the ambulance, we can use this. This is not that, and the instructor was like, no, that is not what you need to be using. Okay, this is designed to restrict venous blood flow. Okay, it's for starting IVs, guys. There's no way that this little flimsy little thing is gonna be tight enough to stop bleeding. Do apologize, guys, there's a bell in the background. This flimsy little thing is not enough to stop bleeding, okay? It's just not. It's cheap, elasticated, um, strap, cheap plastic buckle, and it just doesn't go tight enough. There's no way this will stop bleeding. There was a British prepper that was putting his EDC video um, about a month or two ago, I've seen this, and he said, he was quite serious when he said it, he said for this, this is for emergencies, and, I, and he's shown one of these, and you know, there's a lot of people who aren't formally medically trained who understand that this is a, an essential piece of kit, but they don't know where to start. And this costs about 199 or something like that. You buy these really cheaply and they're cheap for a reason because they're, for starting IVs, they're used all the time and they're disposable one-time use a lot of the time. You need to get yourself a proper tourniquet, guys. This will get you killed. Do not buy this. Unless you intend to start IVs in the field, in which case you can probably improvise something or use something like a blood pressure cuff, which is going to 
have multiple uses instead of carrying something like this. I only brought this because I wanted to demonstrate what you should not have. I lost someone very close to me to trauma, he was, he was young as well. While his death couldn't have been prevented really, other people's can be. And if you carry a tourniquet, you have the means to save your own life, your loved one's lives and someone else's. So carry a tourniquet please. Carry other medical kit if you can. You know, there's so many bits of kit that you could carry, but you know, if you had to choose one item as a civilian to carry to save someone's life, I would say that a cat tourniquet or a spot tea tourniquet is definitely one of those pieces piece of kit that you should carry. You know, you just don't know when it might save your life or someone else's. Anyway, anyway guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Obviously, you know, if you're carrying one of these tourniquets that I've mentioned that you shouldn't, get rid of it. In fact, no, don't get rid of it. Keep it and tell people, oh, I thought this was good to go. It's not. Don't buy one of these. Buy one of these when you've got your real life-saving tourniquet. It's super important, guys. Don't get fooled into thinking that a cheap little piece of kit will save your life. It won't. You're going to have to spend a bit of money and you're going to have to get something decent, but your life depends on it. Your loved one's lives depends on it and somebody else's life might depend on it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of it, like I say. Please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.